In this video, we're going to talk about Poisson random variables. If you're watching this video, I'll assume that you have some basic idea of probability, such as you know what is a random variable, what is a distribution, how to compute the expectation of a random variable. You're also aware of concepts such as conditional probability, and you have some idea of basic probability distributions, such as Bernoulli and binomial. If you're unaware of these concepts, I would highly recommend that you look at some of the earlier videos in this playlist. Okay, so now let's get to the topic of this particular video, which is the Poisson random variable. Let us assume that you have a book with 10,000 words. The probability that a word has a typo is 1 over 1000. Now you're interested in finding out how many misprints can be there on average. Now you, you can think that you can model this as a binomial random variable, where n is 10,000 and p is equal to 1 over 1000. Now that is correct, but you can also model this as a Poisson random variable because n is very large and p is very small, but the product that is n times p is moderate. Here, n p equals 10. Now, this is an ideal scenario where you can use the Poisson random variable. Some examples of Poisson random variables might be the number of car crashes that happen in a given day or the number of buses arriving within a given time period. We'll describe such situations using a Poisson random variable and we'll look at the distribution of this random variable in this video. Okay, so now what is a Poisson random variable? A Poisson random variable takes non-negative integer values. So it also has a non-negative parameter, lambda. Now the distribution is given as follows. Probability x equals k, that is a random variable x takes the value of k, where x is the Poisson random variable, is given by e to the power of minus lambda, lambda to the power of k, divided by k factorial. Note that lambda is the parameter of the Poisson random variable. And this holds true for all values of k, starting from 0, 1, 2, all the way up to infinity. Now, if you sum up all the probabilities, that is, probability of x equals k, k going from 0 to infinity, you are obviously going to have the, all the pro, going to add up all the probabilities and this is going to come up to 1. But if you look at this addition very closely, what you will see is there is an exponential series which is gotten by e to the power of minus lambda, which is taken out as a common factor, and then you have this set of factors inside is which is 1 plus lambda plus lambda squared by factorial 2, lambda cubed by factorial 3, so on and so forth, which is nothing but an exponential series. Now let's look at the PMF of a Poisson random variable. Now, depending on the value of lambda, the PMF can have different forms. Now, for example, here we have lambda equal to 0 0.5. In that case, you will see that the PMF is monotonically decreasing. However, if you have lambda equal to 3, you will see that the PMF increases initially and then decreases. So depending on the value of lambda, you can see this different kind of behavior for the Poisson random variable. Okay, so now let's go back to the initial slide where we said that a binomial distribution can be modeled as a Poisson distribution if n is very large and p is very small, but the product is moderate. So here, on the, in the first graph, we have a binomial distribution with n equals 5 and p equals 0 0.6. So here n is pretty small and p is pretty high. The second is also a binomial distribution with n equals to 100 and p is very small, equals to 0 0.03. If you look at n, n times p, the multiplication of n and p, for both these examples, we'll see that the value is 3. Now, in the third figure, we, we see a Poisson distribution with parameter 3. You will see that the distribution of this particular variable matches with the binomial, which, is a, which has n equals 100 and p equals 0 0.3. So they, you can see pictorially that they are very close to each other. So when n is very high and p is very low, instead of having two parameters, we can model it as a Poisson distribution with one parameter, lambda, which is equal to n times p. More formally, if you want to see this, what you have is you have n choose k, p to the power of k, 1 minus p to the power of n minus k. That is the probability that x equals k when x follows a binomial distribution. Now, you can approximate this as e to the power of minus lambda, lambda to the power of k by k factorial, where n is large, k 
k is fixed and p is small and lambda equal to np, which is essentially what we have for a Poisson distribution. So a binomial distribution can be approximated with the Poisson distribution when this particular condition that n is very large, p is very small, holds true and n times p is moderate. Let us now try to study Poisson distribution using a simple example. We assume that on a given day, 1000 cars are out in the city of Austin. On average, 3 out of these 1000 cars run into a traffic accident per day. Now we are interested in these two questions. The first question is, what is the probability that we see at least two accidents in a day? To answer this question, we use the Poisson approximation first. Note that the lambda of this Poisson distribution is going to be 3 because there are three out of these thousand cars which run into a traffic accident. So n is basically thousand, p is three out of thousand, which is going to give us lambda equals n times p, which is basically three. We now try to find out the probability that we see at least two accidents in a day. Therefore, we have to find the following, that is probability of x greater than or equal to two, where x is the random variable, which denotes the number of cars which get into an accident. To find probability of x greater than or equal to 2, we use the following equation, which is probability x greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus probability of x equals 0 and probability of x equals 1. Now using the Poisson distribution or the PMF of the Poisson distribution, we can find out probability x equals 0 and probability x equals 1. Now we have written that there, which is 1 minus e to the power of minus 3 and with the parenthesis we have 1 plus 3. And if you do the simplification, well, this will simplify to 0 0.8. The second question that we are going to answer is the following, which is, if we know that there is at least one accident, what is the probability that, there, that the total number of accidents that occur is at least two? So first, we know that there is at least one accident. So we first try to find out probability x is greater than or equal to one, which comes out to 0 0.95. To answer the question, we have to find out probability x is greater than or equal to 2 given x is greater than or equal to 1, which is the conditional probability. We can solve this by finding out probability x is greater than or equal to 2 divided by probability x is greater than or equal to 1. We just found out probability x is greater than or equal to 2 as 0 0.8 and probability x is greater than or equal to 1 as 0 0.95. So we divide 0 0.8 by 0 0.95 which gives us the value 0 0.84. With this, we'll conclude this video. I hope this video gave you a good understanding of how Poisson distributions work. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and watch the rest of the videos of this playlist. Thank you.